new products keep rolling around as we continue with this tech season so for today we look at some of the latest um, devices that have come out of microsoft as well as amazon <laughs> Hey, what up? It's your boy Mob Justice back again with another video. And for today, we are looking at the latest product announcements coming out of Amazon as well as Microsoft. This continues uh, the tech season. Uh, we had our previous video around the latest set of iPhones all the way from Apple and uh, things roll around as all of these companies prepare for the holiday season. As always, this uh, video is brought to you by the team over at Lion Media uh, here on over to check out some of the crispiest uh, photo, video, and audio content. That's www.lionmedia.com. Head on over, uh, check it out, and just see uh, what the team can do for you. Starting off with Microsoft, they recently released uh, their latest line of Surface products, and uh, they had eight new products that they brought out, but there are a couple of that stood out to me. The one that stood out to me the most was something that they they're calling the Surface Laptop Studio. And uh, at first glance, this looks like something that's trying to look uh, like a MacBook, but on closer inspection, it actually resembles a shrunk down uh, version of uh, um, the uh, Surface Studio from last year. And I really thought that was quite a sexy looking machine um, when it first launched. And I would actually say that on the Windows side of things, I would love to have one of those. But it's basically a combination of their surface uh, of their surface books uh, their surface laptops as well as uh, the studio products uh, that we mentioned all sort of rolled in one because it's a convertible you've got the normal laptop view at the same time it looks like one of the uh, um, surface products in the in its tent view and then at the same time it has a tablet sort of view where people can use a stylus um, to create um, on that product really looks beautiful the only thing I'm concerned about is um, the hinge uh, that they actually use to go from laptop mode into that tent mode. How durable is that going to be over time? The second product that stood out on the day is uh, their Surface Duo 2. Uh, that's basically Microsoft's uh, foldable um, smartphone device that they have at the moment. Um, unlike the likes of Samsung and Huawei that have foldable screens, they have dual screens uh, that have a hinge in the middle. So it's basically um, two, you know, devices that have sort of come um, into one and uh, they're stuck to that strategy, but made refinements, lots of optimizations for things like gaming, as well as their cameras. And speaking of cameras, they have a new camera array on the back, as well as a selfie camera um, on the inside. So it's looking like at least uh, Microsoft is stuck to their guns with this uh, type of photo point. It would be really good to see how much um, it develops over time. Outside of those two devices, Microsoft also announced the Surface Pro 8 as well as the Surface Go 3. Uh, these are basically the devices that harken back as much as possible uh, to the original Surface products from back in the day, except that now everything is running on Windows 11 and then you've got uh, new um, ARM chips that are inside these devices as well as uh, some of the 11th gen uh, chips that are coming out from Intel as well as as new styluses uh, that we spoke about earlier on when we we're talking about the studio product and then um, they also brought out a recycled type of material mouse thing that they brought out it's basically a mouse but it's made out of ocean plastic and they're calling it the ocean plastic mouse at the same time they brought out a set of um, what they call the surface adaptive kit and that's basically meant to address um, accessibility issues on the whole, Microsoft looks to have really widened its surface range. More than anything else, I think this is quite strategic because uh, they're getting ahead of uh, their Windows 11 release, uh, which is set to come in the next couple of weeks um, with their own line of products that have been optimized uh, for that uh, particular operating system, similar to what uh, Google does uh, when it makes its uh, Pixel books and its Chromebooks as well as um, its line of uh, Pixel smartphones uh, because 
you know those are open those are open platforms that are then used by other manufacturers uh, but this is an opportunity for them to show um, what they think um, a Windows 11 device should look like and what it will be capable of Moving on to the side of Amazon, they actually brought out a whole bunch of devices. Unlike Microsoft, which brought out eight, um, I think on the Amazon side, it was probably double that number. I counted about 13 to 15 different products, and but there might have been some that I missed. Basically, the theme um, was that they brought out a bunch of devices that will be used in the house, um, but more than anything else, they seem to be expanding uh, their ecosystem of products, um, all using Alexa and uh, on the fitness front, on the home front, and also on the security front. The ones that stood out to me, uh, firstly, there was one called Astro, uh, which is a small household robot um, that has a screen on it, and they're calling it ambient computing uh, that's going to cost about a thousand dollars the second one is something that amazon calls the always home cam 2 basically this is a drone that has a camera on it and it works as a surveillance camera um, in situations where you as uh, a homeowner is not there or is not in a certain part of a home it sort of flies around and it looks uh, really cool kind of like a little spaceship um, as it goes through the house and for me the big curiosity is how loud uh, the rotors are on this uh, on this camera uh, simply because as a security device if someone is breaking into your house and they hear this thing spinning right they might be tempted uh, to go out and you know fish it out of the sky break it whatever it is so it would be you know to its advantage if it was silent but a lot of the time these devices that have rotors tend to be quite loud if anyone has ever used a drone for example where they know how loud these things are. The third announcement is more of a curiosity on my end. Um, Amazon is well known for Alexa, uh, which is their voice assistant, but it seems they've been working with Disney on something that they're calling Hey Disney. Um, I'm curious and a little bit confused simply because I'm not fully understanding um, what the strategy is. Um, there was a Disney executive who came on and it sounds like it's something that's going to be used at Disney theme parks, in hotel rooms, that type of thing you get to interact with Disney characters. But I'm just wondering why someone um, even faced with a situation where you can use Hey Disney, uh, why someone will not just use the normal Alexa. I'm uh, just waiting to see and test out um, something like this in the wild. The company also brought out its new versions um, of uh, the Halo products. Um, those are their fitness um, oriented ones. So you've got the Halo View, which is the smartwatch, as well as Halo Fitness, which is similar to what we see with Apple and its Apple Fitness Plus. And then we had something around Halo Nutrition. On the security side, we also got a smart thermostat and then we also got a number of ring devices um, uh, including uh, the ring uh, alarm pro the ring virtual security guard as well as uh, the blink video doorbell and the blink floodlight cam and once again, I think this points to um, the strategy that Amazon is trying to do where they become part um, of that smart home ecosystem. The one I'm most interested in is the virtual security guard simply because um, how effective will that be? Because basically um, you subscribe to this service and you have third parties, people at Amazon that can watch your cameras on your behalf, alert you um, when something is happening to you. So over time, I'm very curious to know how successful or effective, you know, such a service would be. Amazon also showed off uh, something that they call uh, the Echo Show 15. This is basically a hub or through which you can actually control your various smart home devices. Um, all the things that we just spoke about, uh, sort of that as a hub. On the Google side, we've seen similar products such as uh, the Google Home, uh, basically a display through which you can interact um, with your smart home devices devices. 
the last device is a bit once again an odd one you know that uh, amazon has come out with and that's something that's called the amazon glow they say it's meant to encourage interactivity it's basically a video communication device but it has a projector and it allows people to draw but at the same time on the other side someone can be following along on a tablet and all of this stuff and they talk about going be beyond video calls curious to see where this one goes but you know once again i think it's a little bit gimmicky but you know i could be wrong in conclusion it really does seem as if uh, the battle for ecosystems continues it's a discussion that we've been having on this platform uh, for a number of months now we've seen samsung's doing it and uh, we're seeing amazon now we're seeing microsoft uh, but all of this are uh, trying to compete uh, with the world garden that apple has created on its end so the more devices that these um, manufacturers can come up with the more entrenched that people can become into their ecosystems but more than anything else just giving people enough time to see the product see the reviews make decisions just so that when christmas rolls around these might be some of the products that people have on top of their lists let us know what you think in the comments are you interested in any of these devices i'm personally keen to see um, what the surface products are going to look like in particular uh, that surface studio laptop i'm on the side of amazon that flying drone as well as the astro robo just to see what they can do in real life otherwise you can let us know what you think and we'll catch you guys in the next video this is Muffs Too Much and you're watching Mob Justice TV. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter. We're there on YouTube. Thank you for watching our video. Subscribe.